North Korea has been staging provocations for years and has been increasing its nuclear capabilities and threatening the United States with each passing year. Experts believe North Korea has between 60 and 70 nuclear warheads. Every year, North Korea adds about 12. What if war happens between the United States of America and North Korea? North Korea is surrounded by NATO bases in allied territories. And not all of Kim Jong-un's missiles can fly very far. The closest targets would be the Yongsan garrison, which is in the center of Seoul. And in Japan, many American bases are concentrated in and around Tokyo. Yokota and Atsugi air bases, Yokosuka naval base, Marine Corps Air Base Iwakuni, 20 miles from Hiroshima, will also be targeted. Some of these missiles will explode in flight before reaching their target. Some will be intercepted by missile defenses. Some, due to poor calculations and components, will miss their target by several kilometers. But these are fission bombs with a yield similar to the nuclear weapons that destroyed Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and the bombs that fall off target still cause massive damage to urban areas. The explosions destroy buildings and cause severe fires that engulf large areas of Seoul, Busan, and Tokyo. For some time, the North Koreans will be able to accompany the nuclear attack with waves of conventional missiles and long-range artillery. Almost immediately, U.S. intelligence would detect the launches and launch a counter-strike. The question is, whether the U.S. can launch a surgical strike. The main problem with a preemptive strike against North Korean missile launchers is the need to hit them all at once. And this is impossible, since they are scattered and hidden throughout the country's mountainous terrain. The U.S. is hitting known locations of missile silos. The first priority will probably be to take out Kim Jong-un. If war breaks out, he will move to a special bunker but the Americans will try to get the DPRK leader there as well. At the same time, command centers and nuclear facilities will be destroyed with the help of high-precision weapons. Thus, North Korea will be deprived of central power. It is believed that the DPRK has no reliable air defense system and over-the-horizon radars, and the Air Force is small in number and has old Soviet airplanes in service so the American losses at the first stage will be minimal. It is also believed that the DPRK has severely limited fuel resources, which will hamper its combat capabilities. Before being destroyed, Kim Jong-un launches all remaining long-range missiles towards the U.S. The remaining nuclear-tipped Hwasong-14 and Hwasong-15 ICBMs against targets in the U.S two each against naval bases at Pearl Harbor and San Diego, as well as guideline targets in New York, Washington, and, as a personal touch, one missile aimed at Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, Florida, to bring the total to a dozen. At least half of them can be handled by missile defense. Even so, the missiles reach the neighborhoods of Washington, D.C., Barksdale Air Force Base, and Hawaii. These missiles are no more accurate than the others, but the 200 kiloton warheads, 10 times the power of the bomb that destroyed Hiroshima, do their job and have catastrophic consequences. One warhead hit Manhattan, which North Korea's state media specifically named as the target of its long-range missiles. The direct hit on Manhattan killed more than one million people. Another 300,000 people were killed in the vicinity of Washington, D.C. The strikes on Jupiter and Pearl Harbor killed between 20,000 and 30,000 people. At this moment in Korea is already working parachute and paratrooper regiment of special purpose, designed just for the operation in the Pacific theater of war. To help paratroopers can send a separate regiment of special purpose of the Marine Corps, the first task force special forces of the U.S. Delta, the Combat Marine Special Rapid Deployment Group, DVGRU, and other units. However, unlike pilots, they will most likely not have an easy ride. It will take about six months to destroy the North Korean forces, and the Americans will suffer significant casualties. Nuclear contamination would spread across the U.S., causing additional deaths and making it impossible to live near the arrival of nuclear missiles. In the end, 
about three million Americans, South Koreans and Japanese died in a nuclear war between the U.S. and North Korea, and less than 100,000 on the North Korean side. Of course, the U.S. could win solely by remote control. They could carpet bomb North Korea with nukes. But that would make no sense in terms of defeating the Kim regime, and all it would do is cause a lot of deaths on the North Korean side. And I want to remind you once again that we ordinary people came to this planet to build happiness. So build your happiness, and if you have even a small possibility to stop any war, then create peace. Give me a like if you agree.